Ah, Evernote, you were very relevant about five, six years ago. Now you're not as much, but still you have some good features. So that's why I'm gonna make a video about Evernote Home and how it's actually a really nice central hub for all the different things that you can have in your productive life. So the basic functionality of Evernote Home is pretty self-explanatory and this is what you get on the free plan. This is what it looks like. So after upgrading, what you can do is actually edit all of these different widgets and add whatever you want to Evernote Home. So on Evernote, what you're going to have to do in order to have all of these different widgets is have Evernote Professional. You can only get some of the widgets on free and three of them max on that widget dashboard and then you will have unlimited but only some of them and not everything until you go to the professional. There's actually a lot of different customization on this one. I could have my daily tasks showcased here on the task one. So let's do some example ones, record video. And this has the complete functionality of due dates, so I could set this to tomorrow. This could be due today. And on the top right here, you could actually go to the test itself. Obviously there's this spot on the side for it, but you can interact with it right here, easily add new tasks and assign it to different people. And then there's a basic note section that connects you to the different notes that you've made recently and then any suggested ones that you have. So this would be the things to do note that I had regarding what my tasks were. And then this is an example of a note that I had made earlier last year when I was messing around with the software. And a basic functionality that you have with this scratch pad is just a place to jot down different notes that you have. And then the calendar one's actually nice because you actually have a little bit of an integration here. So I can integrate it with my Google Calendar or my Rise Productive account. And then it allows me to choose the different calendars that are on my Google Calendar. So if I do Rise Productive and my example calendar here as well, unlike Notion, I actually get to see a Google Calendar integration directly with what I have going on on my timeline. And it could be a list view or a timeline view, which is a nice option as well. And you have the option to get reminders before these different times. So remind me to open notes five minutes before the start or after. So this is nice for people who want to be able to take notes during meetings. And this is a nice view as well. However, the list view just breaks it down into a little bit more digestible chunks. So the calendar one's pretty self-explanatory. You get multiple calendars if you upgrade your plan to professional. And then a nice one here is that you can actually pin a specific note that you have. So you have a specific page that's your go-to note that you want to use. What's on there can be seen and it can't really be interacted with. Like I couldn't take this and like type anything in there. Like I can't really do anything inside this. I mean, I can't even check these off but it is something as reference material. And then filter notes, you could actually set things up so that there's specific keywords, tags, or notebooks that would be located in. So I could have everything from the first notebook be showcased in this filtered notes one so that I have only what I want from specific notebooks that I have showing up on this page. And then here I have tags, so I could make a bunch of different tags based off the different aspects of my life. And this would give me a reference of those different tags that I have in order to then go into and filter the notes overall to that in this view. Then the notebook widgets, it's pretty self-explanatory. You can see all your different notebooks that you have within here. You can create new notebooks as well by going to the top right or pressing this one and just creating a new notebook. So side hustle notebook. And then there's a nice scroll functionality of this as well. And then shortcuts here would basically take any of these. If I took this guy and added it to shortcuts and then went back to this homepage, you'll see that there is an opportunity to put a bunch of different shortcuts here. So it's similar to how like you'd have filtered notes, but for the notebook side of things as well. And then this recently captured, which is interesting. So you could actually capture clipping web content. So if you use the Evernote web clipper extension, you can take different pages and add them here. You can take photos and add them to here different documents. You can actually forward emails directly into Evernote, which is a nice little level of functionality here. And you could actually record audio that would go right into Evernote as well. So for me, the customization here is nice. And what I personally would do is take a look at what you want to do regarding the sizing. So for me, I'm always somebody who likes to have their to-do list on the top, their calendar. So I would probably condense this to having my tests on the left here. And then I think personally, what would be really nice would be a view like this, where you could actually have your tasks, your calendar, some shortcuts, and then maybe some filtered notes and recently captured stuff. But actually I'm 
curious to see what this looks like. I think I'd be a big fan of having the calendar be maybe a little bit bigger, or it matters on what you want, right? But figuring out what sizing works best, I think that the nice part about this whole functionality is that you can have a central home that is custom to you, and maybe this size calendar is what you want and that's what look what looks better to you maybe it's not and then you can also do some basic customization regarding the background so you can take something like this and have it move to the top here and it looks different for you but this is going to be your home workspace and you can obviously do some great things with evernote as in general but being able to interact with what really matters to you consistently on this home page is what this home setup's best at if you like this video and want to see other videos about different productivity apps make sure to click on this one to see how you can improve your productivity even more